Hello, my name is Livia Winnet Limukewas. I'm from Telkom University, Bandung. Today, I would like to present my research paper that called ITSM Analysis Using IJLV3 in Surface Operation in PT Innovasi Cara Kabuana. First, PT Innovasi Cara Kabuana is a company in ESP or Internet Service Provider Sector that uses information technology to sustain activities the company. The company has been scaling up, which is a drastic increase in the number of users of internet services and coverage areas that make companies have to develop for various aspects of the company. And the problem has a problem. Uh, the company has a problem. The problem is that companies can balance service operations and handling an incident that occurs with drastic addition of the number of users and the amount of coverage area at the same time. And Next, the question is how to solve the problem. In this research, we solve the problem using ITSM analysis. Uh, and ITSM analysis will be using the ITILV3 item. So uh, we use or we implement ITIL framework by focusing on service operation. The result of this analysis will produce incident management flow and problem management flow at PT Caraka, Inovasi Caraka Buana. So, ITSM offers several benefits, and the benefits that offers by ITSM are process and technical consulting, pre-configured solutions, tools implementation, platform support, virtual administration, and the last is strategy and optimization. Here is the benefits of ITIL, and we compare ITIL with other standard or framework, ITSM framework, there are ITIL, ISO, and COVID, the parameters that we compare are ownership, implementation, certificate, scope or coverage, flexibility, benefits of certification, validity period, synergy and miscellaneous. Uh, first, for ownership, ITIL framework owned by Axelos, ISO is from ISO or Geneva, COVID is from Isaka. For implementation, ITIL as a framework, it can be adopted and adapted to suit IT organization needs. COVID is same with ITIL, and for ISO as a standard, it has to be implemented in spirit and principles by IT organization. For certificate, ITIL and COVID uh, certificate award to individual only cannot be awarded to an organization, and so different with ISO because ISO uh, ISO certificate. Uh, is award to organizations for scope or corporates ITL uh, framework is of best practice for service management and is complementary to ISO COVID is from uh, has more scope coverage compared to ITIL and ISO standard is complementary to ITIL for flexibility ITIL and COVID is flexible only require practice or only IT governance needed for for an organization can be implemented. And then the benefit of certification for ITIL, the certificate helps individual as a knowledge base in service management and eventually the organization for efficient management of IT services. ISO, the uh, benefits of certification of ISO helps an organization to improve its services, demonstrate reliability and high quality of service. And COVID, the certificates helps individual in their career for performing IT governance role and eventually the organization for increased customer satisfaction. And for validity period, ITIL and COVID is same. The individual certificate is valid for the specified version in the certificate. And for ISO, the organization certificate must be renewed every three years. For synergy, by adopting the ITIL frameworks, it can help an organization comply with the ISO standard and, or the, and for ISO an organization that has ISO can easily adopt ITIL practices and COVID as a framework with more scope or coverage it helps an organization to adopt ISO or ITIL practices with reduced effort. And the last parameter is miscellaneous. ITL is widely implemented by organizations selling IT services, system integrators, it's easy for the client's business having IT as a backbone. So that why, that's why in this research uh, for PT Innovasi Cara Kabuana, we implement or we use ITL framework.
because the client or user of this uh, organization or this company is uh, having IT as a backbone. And for ISO, ISO, ISO is widely adopted by organizations that are in the IT consultancy business or equivalent for the organization. And COVID, COVID is widely implemented by organizations that have an IT department, but they but they are not in the IT consultancy business. Yeah, that's the benefits of IT in comparison. And for methods, uh, we use interview and observation. For observation, we conduct uh, we come to the organization and observe uh, the existing process for incidents, management or service operation in the organization. And we do interviewing some stuff that relate to data information technology and organization. So that, yeah, we collect the data for make uh, the target incident and problem management at PT Caraka, Inovasi Caraka Buana. So, this is the incident management flow. Uh, it starts when complaints about incidents censoring through WhatsApp online for use from user or clients. And the incidents are grouped by priority. If the priority is low and it can be handled by the service days, it will be resolved by the service days and the incident has been resolved and it finished. It's done. But if the incident is at the high priority and then cannot be resolved and with service by the service days, so the organization should contact a technician and then technician here before the field and then yeah, the technician uh, handling hand, handle the uh, incident resolve and uh, the incident resolved by the, the technician and then the uh, incident has been resolved and it's done for the incident management flow and last for our problem management flow uh, it start with uh, new problems came or uh, incident management problem alert is shown after that the problem is grouped by priority and then the technician hit it for the field Technician records an error that occurred, and then problem has been resolved. So I think that's all that I cannot explain. Uh, thank you for all of your attention.